selling the high of the day or of course buying the low of the day so in this video i'll just show you how i sell at the high of the day or as close as possible to the high of the day and how obviously i buy as close as possible to the low of the day right so in this examples continuing from where we left off i'll still be focusing on the very same four currency pairs that i've been focusing for the for the past uh, uh, two days or the past two previous videos so starting off with euro usd essentially i try by all means to stick to the principle which states that you should buy low and sell high so i try to sell as high as much as possible and most with that with keeping that in mind that is why i try to sell as close as possible or at the high of the day so for me to identify that uh so i just go into the one hour to make this quick uh, and short so just going on to the one hour as you can see on the one hour we do have our sort of uh i'd call them period separators uh even here on trading view uh but uh, this these these are actual actually session breaks right so as you can see this line this is 24 hours or this is a session right or a day right of trading so in this case if we are looking to sell as close as possible to the high of the day then that means that we are looking at we are looking at selling around here right so this is where we had looked to enter essentially it was on the four hour uh in as the as the actual example and this was the high of the day which was thursday the fourth right so my entry should be as close as possible to the high of the day but how do i delineate where the high of the day is so essentially at the start of the day what i do to make it easier what i do is that just the first candle that opens so on the first candles open uh, on the hourly or you can even just do it on the actual daily time frame then you just plot a horizontal line right so a horizontal line or a horizontal ray if you're using a, a trading view and then as long as price is above that I, I that is what i deem as high prices or expensive prices for me to sell at because it is this at some point will form the high of the day as long as we are above the open of the day it means that 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 area is is will potentially at some point form the high of the day right so that is how i do it so just go into the one hour go into the daily and just highlight that level once you've done all the all the steps that we mentioned in the first video where we started on the monthly and the weekly and then the second video where we focused on entries using the your four hour one hour 30 minutes or 15 minutes as a as an entry trigger time frame and then also adding to that before you even get to looking to to pull the trigger you need to know whether we are above the open or we are below the open of the day so if we're looking to sell we need to be above the open of the day so that we can try and get in at the high of the day as much as possible right so that is one thing to take note of and also to keep in mind so if we go into euro aud same process uh we'd look we'd look to execute around the high of the day so if we look at euro aud as well uh this was the start of the day as you can see and then this is the end of the day so this was our our entry trigger or signal to enter then you waited for your pullback by placing a sell limit of course right and then as you can see where's the open of 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 of, of uh wednesday the 26th of april Here's the open round about here. So you can see we are already above, which means for me, based on the day, this price is expensive. So at some point we will form the high of the day. So I try to get as, clo as close as possible to the high of the day whenever I'm executing my entries because, and at that point when I'm executing, I do not know if it is the high of the day, but as long as I know that it is above our open, then that is good and it also goes 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 into the weekly time frame also on the weekly time frame are we are we above the open of the weekly time frame if i'm looking to sell so the same process but on the weekly time frame it's the same thing that i adopt right and then another thing another beneficial thing of of entering at the high of the day in terms of selling or buying at the low of the day is that you get those very good risk to reward ratio trades right so if you're able to catch the high of the day the high of the week 
then you're in a very good position once the trade starts moving in your favor, right? So you're able to maximize on the pips, maximize on the move and all of that. So we're going to Euro NZD as well. Similar process, right? On 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 your on your one hour, or even on you can use the daily time frame uh, as as soon as the day starts. So as you can see here, similar to Euro A to Euro, uh, sorry Euro AUD. So this was the open right here. So this was the open, and price was already above. This was my entry trigger on the one hour. Then waited for price to pull back here, placing a sell limit, right? And then I got triggered in, right? If you do not understand how i executed these trades from the start to where i am right now in terms of the actual move then just go back to the first to not the first but the two previous videos and rewatch those videos so you can get an insight and if you're still not clear drop it in the comments so that i can try and do a follow-up video where i try and explain things clearer for you right so um yeah, if you do not understand why I'm in these positions, just go back or how I executed these positions, just watch the two previous videos. And then uh, if we look at EuroCAD, if we look at EuroCAD, same process. If I'm looking to sell, I'm looking where is the high, well, not where is the high of the day, but first thing, where is the open? Because I never know the high of the day until price, until the day has actually ended. That is when I'll know if this is the high of the day. But essentially, this is where price opened. So as long as I'm above, I know that one of, one of, at some point, we will form the high of the day or we'll have a top or that what we'll consider as the high of the day. But that is not confirmed until the day actually ends. So my, what I focus on as most important is am I above the daily open if i'm looking to sell am i above the weekly open if i'm looking to sell am i below the daily open if i'm looking to buy am i below the daily open if i'm looking to buy as well on the weekly or on the daily time frame right so those are key things to remember so that you are able to uh, able to execute your trades and, and and be able to get those sniper entries low risk high reward trades right so now i'll just switch over to the daily time frame so you can see the risk to reward and where the open of the day was right for that specific for that particular day where i got my entries right so as you can see this was the open and then i managed to enter around the high of the day and then as you can see good risk to reward ratio neuro cad euro nzd similar story uh this was the open of the day managed to enter around or as close as possible to the high of the day and then good risk to reward ratio right 61 pips currently floating close to se over 770 pips on this trade alone, right? So you're able to get those good risk to rewards, good risk to reward or high, low risk, high reward trades. Uh, if you're able to enter or sell above the open of the day, let's put it that way. So you can try and be as close as possible to the high of the day or buy below the the, the open of the day right to try and be as close as possible to the low of the day and remember the reason for that is every the same the statement that everyone throws around buy low sell high we're sticking to that nothing fancy nothing nothing new we're not trying to reinvent the wheel we're just sticking to the basics right buy low sell high so as you can see here as well this was the open we managed to get uh, an entry or a sell entry around the high of the day as well as with euro usd it was the similar a similar story right so this was the the open of the day and we managed to get an entry around the high of the day of the actual day so this was the open we are around the high of the day right and as you can see it's not really going that much as we've seen with all the other trades but it's still moving in our direction and we're able to get in tighter entry with with a, a, a moder moderate or a low risk and a potential for high reward but essentially the reason the purpose for this video was just to explain to you the importance of once you followed all the other steps that i mentioned in the previous two videos also do not forget to consider where you are in terms of in reference to the open of the day am i above am i below so if you're looking to sell and price is still below the the, the the open you can so it's up to you but based on how i do it so that i ensure that i always get those sniper entries all those uh low risk entries i make sure if i'm looking to sell i need price to be above the open if i'm looking to buy i need price to be below the open why because we buy low and we sell high so hope that made sense and i'll see you guys on the next